Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and welcome to the beautiful world of Beautiful Joe. Yeah! Beautiful Joe is a side scrolling beat em up that sort of emulates film in a way. It sort of has a cell shaded animation style and has a lot of video effects to kind of emulate uh, film and stuff like that. It's, it's an interesting game. You guys will see as we hop into it. Um, I've never played it before, but I have a friend um, who's been on this channel before, Brandon, who is a big fan of Beautiful Joe. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to speak for him, but he he's played the game and he's enjoyed the game and he, he talked to me about it back in the day. So um, let's see if we can do him, do him right here and, and do a good job of Beautiful Joe here today. Um, now, fun fact, this game was developed by some of the developers behind Resident Evil 1 and 2, behind Devil May Cry, behind Ace Attorney, and even Steel Battalion, if you guys remember that mech game that requires a controller that takes up your entire desk, which is uh, one of my pride and joys, one of the, the biggest, I think it is the biggest controller I own. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so this game has, a, you're going to see a lot of influences from other things. I mean, Ace Attorneys, they're going to be an obvious art style connection here with Beautiful Joe. Um, but one other fun fact before we get into this, this game's original title was Red Hot Man. That was a name during development. And they changed it because they were worried about the Red Hot Chili Peppers suing them. So <laughs> I think Beautiful Joe is a much cl more clever name anyway. So uh, let's see what we got in terms of options here. Convig and V Gallery. Okay, forget it. Let's just hop into a new game here. Is this game for kids or adults? Adults only, guys. This game is rated X. We're going to go beat up a bunch of nude people. Or that was simply the difficulty setting, and we're just going to play this game on a harder normal difficulty. One or the other, we'll see which one is true. Um, now, the opening here... I'll let this play for a little bit, but funnily enough, so I, I'm playing this game on emulator here today, and I don't normally play GameCube on emulator, but sort of a long story of recently, um, I've started to play more PS2 games on emulator because they're just so much simpler to record when I play them on my PC and I get a better resolution when I do so. Um, and also, uh, I had to disconnect all my consoles. You know, my uh, N64, my Wii, my PlayStations, Xboxes, everything from my PC temporarily because we're doing some uh, reorganization uh, in the basement here. <clears throat> and so my uh, Wii was not connected and I couldn't record off my Wii today, but I still wanted to play Beautiful Joe. And so I thought, ah, I've been having so much luck, so much success recording from PS2 using an emulator. Maybe I should give it a try for GameCube. Um... So, yeah, so this is our first attempt to see how uh, a GameCube emulation fares. But uh, anyway, as you can see, there's uh, Joe here. He's with his beautiful nerdy girlfriend. They're watching basically an Ultraman movie, and uh, she just wants to make out. So here, we did select the adult version of the game, so I'm sure this is going to break out into hardcore nudity. So, you know, like if you guys have small children in the room, um, you may want them to leave right now. But once that is over, what's going to happen is she's going to get sucked into the game and we're going to have to go in uh, and save her sort of Legend of Zelda style um, and or actually not I mean Legend of Zelda style in that we have to save our girlfriend but I guess the idea of getting sucked in a movie is more like uh, oh, what is that old Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he gets sucked into a movie there's a kid who gets sucked into a movie and Arnold Schwarzenegger's like this no-nonsense cop Oh my god, what is the name of this movie? It's going to drive me crazy. I want to say it starts with a C, but I think that's totally wrong. Anyway, if you know the name of the movie, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but suffice to say, anyway, she's going to get sucked in. Chaos ensues. Let's just skip this and get to the actual Joe of it all. Joe the hero. He's going to take up the mantle and beat the snot out of... Things. I don't know exactly what we're going to be fighting against, but things. Whoa! <laughs> Down he goes. Just a dude with a soul patch. Wait a minute. 
Am I? Totally. Am he's I very, like, early 2000s, 90s. Like, just his facial hair so dates him so much. It's actually pretty funny. I Captain Blue. I am no longer able to fight because... Ah, I Captain Blue is going to you imbue me with some powers here. Hero. But anyway, we'll skip that, too. We got powers. And that's going to allow us to beat people up. So here's how this works. Joe saw the skull icon indicating an incoming attack, but it was no match against Joe's smooth moves. Oh, he can dodge. Also, if he goes for the legs, you can dodge upwards. Kia! And then you can beat the snot out of a guy. Devotes with all his soul his training regime. So yeah, anyway, pretty basic, uh... Uh, how do we do this? There we go. Pretty basic attacks. Um, but I like it. Sort of a cool dodge system. And when he when he dodges, it's sort of like that freeze frame of, uh... Like when characters jump in TV shows and they freeze frame. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's dodge these guys. Hey yo I think dodging them is better than just straight up attacking them. I think you get, like, get more points and stuff. Yeah, look, A for awesome! So, so you think you can just run through and, like, beat people up, uh, you know, not, not, oh god, ow. Not worry about dodging, but I think you get more from the game if you do take it up on its dodging mechanics. Look at all these beautiful, oh god. Huh, the dodging is actually pretty satisfying, I will say. So you can see there's sort of like a film grain on the uh, on the game here. So you can just beat guys up even if they haven't uh, attacked. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, things are getting crazy. Somehow I dodged all of that. Ooh. Yeah! It's interesting how, like, we're in a level, but we're getting, like, constant, like, uh, sort of score screens, I guess you would say. I'm gonna say game over screens, but it's not really game over. I'll show you how to be a real hero. Come and get Just go for it! Oh, God. Okay, what do we have to do here? We gotta fight him. Oh, ow. Beat up the beautiful Joe. Okay, and then he does an attack that you can't block. Oh god. Oh god. This guy's a little tougher. Come on, do an attack that I can dodge. Oh, get away from me! I'm just a kid! Don't beat me up, dude! You're my hero! Aha, we got him. We beat up our god. Now we've stolen his soul. He looks like an old guy with a pot belly. <laughs> like, is that just me? I'm looking at beautiful Joe here, or whatever, Captain Blue? He kind of looks like an old guy with just a pot belly. He totally is! Look, his gut is hanging out. That's disgusting. What does that mean, Joe? Oh, Joe! Oh my god. He has totally ultramanned out. Alright. Well, you can't make fun of his soul patch anymore or he will end you. L1. Oh, L1 slows time down. Dodge. Oh, interesting. Oh my god, you do mega punches. Oh, that is so cool. Very cool. Okay, ow. Okay, we gotta dodge these attacks. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Huh, cool. All right, do your worst. Ooh, punch! <laughs> Anyone? All right, 
So I don't know if you have unlimited slow-mo abilities, but I hope so. Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Get out of here! 70 beautiful points. So it's like you not only have to beat up enemies, you have to do so in a way that people are going to want to watch your movie. Because we're ca we care about the view numbers, folks. Alright. Get the other guy! Yes! Oh, get the bat! Where's the bat? Can't get him. Alright, whatever. There doesn't seem to be a big difference between punching and kicking, by the way, so one of these buttons punches, the other kicks. Seems to be sort of just whatever. Give me your bat. There we go. Oh, you can- wait, you can double jump? Didn't even know that. Huh, well that's good to know. Oh my god, a giant joker... Uh, bot machine. Oh, wait, what? I- hey, I didn't even know we were starting here. A little, little uh, warning. Oh, hey, hello. There you go, eat that. If you're not gonna play like a gentleman, then neither will I, sir. I'm gonna eat a hamburger in the middle of this fight. It's interesting how this is a, like a 2D platformer, but it has like kind of wonky camera angles at times. Oh god. Alright. Let's do this! Oh god. Yeah, I hit him in the nuts! Oh no, I ran out of beautiful points! Never mind, I got him back. Oh god, ow. Hey, hold on, I gotta get, uh, film canisters. I don't- I don't understand how you turn into beautiful Joe. I'm gonna try and just stay in Joe form. Oh, we killed him. Alright. <laughs> so I guess only noble hench creatures give you the warning sign that they're gonna attack. The big guys do not. Oh, interesting. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to- I thought I was supposed to select the skulls. Action. But I just- I just died, oh my god. Oh, come on. There we go. Down you go. Alright, we need to figure out... Oh, get off me! We need to figure out what I was supposed to do on that slot machine, because I clearly screwed it up. <laughs> Alright, come on, boys. Out. There we go. Get out of here. <laughs> Just slow-mo kick him into space. Alright, attempt number two. Now, just go for it. I'm gonna be as annoying as possible in my fight with this guy. There's no honor amongst robots. You know your sweet coinage. Oh, he threw out a thing. Oh, look! Oh, bombs! Oh, he threw out a bad thing. I see. That sweet burger. I could use a burger right now, actually. In real life. Ever have a craving for hamburgers? Is that something you guys have, too? Sometimes I'm just sitting around, craving a burger. <laughs> oh, you dick. Nah, it's okay, you're about to die. I'm trying not to use up any slow-mo. Okay, maybe we'll have to. There we go. Because I didn't want to, I need it for this stupid casino thing. Alright. V! V! Oh no! Damn it! 
Oh, and I can't go in slow-mo now. Yay. Oh, this... My slow-mo! Ah, oh, I didn't even get to see the V! <laughs> okay, so your beautifulness... ...recharges. Son of a- okay, well, whatever. We can get a burger out of this, at least. Yes! Mint sweet burger! Mmm, tasty. Alright, we gotta get this stupid V. V. No, 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 no. Okay, whatever. This is, like, shockingly difficult. There's another one. Now I'm not Joe. We gotta wait for the- this is so si I'm doing something wrong, clearly. Yeah, bitch! I'm the Joe Master. Alright, I got a D. Oh my god, and a- what? Giant axe just got me. I'm not doing very good at Joe's school. I'm a D student at best. Oh! What happened? Oh, I guess... Ready? I thought I dodged that guy's attack! I also didn't realize I only had one hit left, or I probably would have played a little more cautiously. Just beat up this guy manually. Ah! Ha-ha! Come on, man. Oh god. Fighting between two axes seems dangerous. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Since the slow mo does regenerate, I should probably just use it more often. Ooh. Wait, is there anything up here? Oh my god, there's all sorts of stuff up here. Wait, I could have avoided those axes the whole time? Whee! So are we on film sets or what? Because I feel like we're just running through the world, but seeing as how this is supposed to be like a film, you would imagine that they would- Oh, you bastard. They would put you on film sets or something. Oh god, bullets. Oh, you can actually dodge them if you slow down time at the right time. Oh, look at that! That's bullet time, baby. Hey, can we kill this guy? Oh, you bastard. Oh, come on. Oh my god. This is so annoying. This stupid dodging robot. I got him in the back of the head. Oh, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I dodged it. Okay, we killed him somehow. Boom. You know what I think I am craving, actually, is a burrito. I take it back. I'm not craving a burger. I'm gonna get a burrito after this. <laughs> get some Chipotle. I mean, you guys won't be in on it, but... I'm informing you of my plans to get Chipotle. Chipotle is never a bad decision, in my opinion. Unless you're really not feeling it. And I guess it is. Alright, we did it. We got C for crappy. <laughs> Imagine your teachers told you that for in school. D is for... Uh, I forget what D they said was for, but it was for like dunce or something. C was for crappy. B is for pretty good, and A is for aces, baby. Oh God, let's just run away from these guys. Oh, I just jumped on a bunch of random spikes. Cut, 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 cut. Yes. Do we get to keep going? So I guess it is it does sort of have like a movie theme because they're like cut, cut, cut whenever you die. Um, hello. Wait, what? Load game.
Wait, didn't I save? I thought it was saving. <laughs> Nothing saved? Wait, what the hell? Okay, well, let's try this one more time, I guess. That's disappointing that nothing saved. Okay, let's see how fast we can actually get through um, these early levels. Now that we actually know what we're doing. All right, back into the tutorial. Oh, they make you do this every time, eh? Dodge and dodge. Okay, and then we can just beat the snot out of this guy. So they take a lot more punches if you don't dodge them, I guess. That's the sort of lesson. Yeah, the dodging is helpful. All right, enough of that. Oh shoot, beat up this guy. Get out of here, all right. And you can't double jump when you're just poor lowly old Joe here. There we go, beat up these guys. There we go. Got an A. Alright, so you don't have to do the dodges in order to get A's. You just have to, I guess, do it quickly and not get hit. So, fair enough. You know what this game kind of feels like? Feels a little bit like Super Smash Brothers because it's sort of like a 2D beat em up, and that's kind of what Smash Brothers is. I know a lot of people count Smash Brothers as sort of like a tournament fighter, kind of like Street Fighter, but it really isn't. Like, its mechanics are like more like Beautiful Joe here than I would say like Smash Brothers. Um. Because, like, in Smash Brothers, the mechanics are very different than Street Fighter. Or like Mortal Kombat. Like those are all like one-on-one -on -one fighting games. And uh hey, we still got an A. Interesting. Uh they're all one-on-one -on -one fighting games. And it looks like you have it's like oddly slower paced, or like you don't have to worry about platforming and the moves are a little different. Like they're just more combat focused moves. A lot of the moves in Smash Brothers like move you around the battlefield and stuff like that. Um, get out of here, Joe. I'm on to you. Oh, ow. Ah, oh, missed. Come here, buddy. Captain Blue Kirk. Oh, nice try. Ow. There we go, we got him. Um... Yeah, a lot of the Smash Brothers moves, like, move you around the battlefield, and you can, like, fly and uh, do moves that sort of, like, jump on ledges and stuff. It's just, like, a very different kind of combat game. It's it's almost a combat platformer. Like, if I had to name the genre, I'd almost call it a combat platformer. And, um... Yeah. Boom. Down you go. And this feels a lot more like that. It's more of a combat platformer. Boom. <laughs> you want some too? Boom. Okay. If you kick them off screen, their coins do come flying back to you, so that's good to know. Uh, you know, we are flying through this first stage much faster than we did before, so... I think it'll be fine that we had to, uh... You know, reset. I thought we were saving our game, but I guess not, like... Do you just... Okay, you, just, you can't just pause the game and save, so I don't know. I don't know what was going on, guys. Ah, oh, you dick. How about this? Oh god, I'm gonna run out of bullet time. 
I'll eat a burger, though. Oh, you have to go into bullet time in order to dodge. I understand, I think. Ow. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Well, we went to bullet time and just beat him up, so that works. Yeah, see, this is very much like Smash Brothers and that it's all about like timing and like reversals and stuff. There we go. I don't know. We didn't dodge any of his attacks. We beat him up. That's good enough for me. Oh, shoot. Press the jump button instead of the attack. There we go. Let our powers regenerate a bit. There we go. That was a lot easier the second time around. I knew what I was doing. Okay, are there any hamburger boxes that we left lying around here? Or Chipotle coupons? I see none. You know what? We could get a burger out of this. Yes! Sweet, tasty meat! We did it! We're the kings. Uh, we only got a, a grade of C. Or crapola. Boom. Nice try, buddy. Oh, we destroyed the axe. Boom. Boom. Oh, wait, what? I was dodging down there. Didn't dodge fast enough. Get out of here. It's these sweet, beautiful things. I don't know what they do. I think last time, by the time we got here, we died several times, but this time... Going strong, man. Okay, this guy really annoyed me last time. Oh. Oh my god, we killed him already? Are you kidding me? That's it? That's it? Frankly, I'm insulted. Get out of here. Man, this slow-mo thing makes all the difference. Why was I not using this more frequently before? It's like I had to die in order to realize the value of it. It's like Neo in The Matrix. It's like he had to literally die before he could uh, fully utilize his slow-mo abilities. Just like good old game and Jay. Sometimes I need a few bonks on the head before I realize what's what. Just kind of the person I am, guys. But eventually I figure things out, usually. Sometimes. Occasionally. Hey, we got an A for awesome that time. Boom! Get out of here. Yeah, just smash those goddamn robots. Smash them to itty bitty bits. Nice try, robots. Yeah, smash you good. Where'd that, that other guy just fled? Ah. Uh, come on, you want to fight? I'm here. I'll take you down. I just dropping bombs like a coward. Oh, ow. Why are there beautiful things down there if you can't get them? Hmm. Yeah, I kick you in the face. That's right, I did that. Come on. Wanna fight me? Where are ya? I wanna kill this guy, I don't want any witnesses. No survivors. He is not coming back. <laughs> He's like, I've definitely... Seeing what happens. Alright, forget it. See ya. Oh, do I have to kill him? Oh, there's stuff way up there. Huh, how do you get up there? Oh, ow. Alright, buddy. Come on. Come on, where are you going? Oh, god damn it. 
How do we get this guy? Oh, there we go. He's finally dead. Some of the enemies that jump up into the air are actually like, quite annoying. Like that bullet guy in the previous room that took us forever to kill. Yeah, like, how are you supposed to get that film canister down there? It just seems like a total trap. Ooh. Oh, like what? Hold on. I have to do something here? Oh. They jump. I'm pressing the jump. Oh my god, that actually kind of worked. Jeez. Okay. Jeez. I don't know how you were supposed to properly get in those spikes, but whatever. We did it. I want all of these. Wee! <laughs> yes, give me the sweet burger. C for crappy. I'll take it. Any level where I don't die, I don't think is a C. I think that's an A+. Plus. That's my standard. Just go for it. Yeah, let's go. Let's dance, piglets. Get shot by that axe. Nice try, bitch! <laughs> Down he goes. Do it. Ooh. Boom. Boom. Aw, oh, nice. Annihilating them. These little henchmen are getting a lot easier to kill. That is definitely true. Oh, this guy's still alive, eh? Not for long! Oh, two guys. All right. Do it. Boom. And... All right. <laughs> Look how that guy telegraphed his attack for so long and I just ducked and stayed ducked. Like, clearly ducked and he's still attacking the wrong direction. Um... I miss an enemy? What's happening here? Oh look, there's more enemies. Alright, come on. I got five minutes. Let's do it. Boom, boom. I didn't even let you attack. Because I don't respect you. Yeah, give me that A. A for awesome. Look, my guy's so happy he's celebrating. <laughs> I don't know why that's kind of funny. Yeah, so I guess maybe the idea is that everything, all the background things are 2D, and that's because you're like, oh, I didn't even notice these. Because you're like in a movie or something. So it's, they're just sort of like a set. I don't know if that's what they're trying to convey. Probably like, frankly, a limitation of the GameCube. It couldn't render too many like 3D objects, but it's like, like a clever workaround to make the 2D things in the background um, fit with the style of the game. Attack! Oh, I ran out of juice. Run, the little piglets! Boom! Boom! Look at all these things hanging out. Oh, God. Oh, I think I kicked a bullet into the guy. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Oh, God. There's a lot of stuff happening on screen right now. Oh, God, I'm about to run out of bullet time, and I need it. Okay. Come on, and... Oh, God. Die. Die. No, no! I was trying to kick that bullet. Oh, God, okay, run. I might actually die here. Hey, come on. Yes! Oh, come on! I punched that! Die! Die! Oh. 
I'm like so close to running out of bullet time. And health. Ah! Run! Oh, I kicked that robot in the face! Just beat up the helicopter manually! We just need like one more hit. Oh my god, this is so tense! Oh, oh we did it somehow! <laughs> B for bad! Oh my god, I did not think we were gonna pull that out. That was sloppy and amateurish. Amateurish. Hey, we actually got to save. So wait, was that all just level one? Oh, that's why we didn't have a save spot. Because we were too bad. Confirm. Yes. Alright, now exit. We did it! We, we, we made it past a level. Ooh, now we can power up. Oh yeah, what do we want? Restores one life. Produces bombs from out of thin air and send them flying. Whoa. What? You can just buy these? Sort of buy these things? Um, Boomerang. A smooth move that lets you use the VM on like a boomerang. Hold down the punch button. What? Slide along the ground and kick. Down and kick. Damn. A flying punch kick? I didn't even think there would be this kind of stuff. All these combos. Okay, let's get the boomerang. Yes. And then... How about the sliding kick? Or beautiful punch kick combo attack. Let's do the sliding kick. There we go. Oh, do you only have one boomerang? Thought I bought it. Oh my god, there's more beautiful forever camis. Uh, there's just too much to take in, so we'll just skip it for now. Um, Joe must go on. All right, let's do one more level and or die, and then we will uh, call it a day for beautiful Joe here. So where does the next level take us? So if we down and oh look at that, we can do a slide kick now. That's sweet. Wait, what's happening? Oh my god! I was like, I'm just getting power-ups as if creatures are just dying. What's killing them? Oh, there we go. Alright. You kill yourself on those barrels, bats. I will allow it. But are getting, like, Donkey Kong vibes out of this level. Oh my god. Oh! Oh no, and that cut- that killed me?! I knew there was a barrel below me, but I didn't know if it was, like, behind or ahead, and I just miscalculated there. Alright, I'm just gonna leave the bats, because they kind of kill themselves in the barrels, so... They're probably... It's probably fine to just let them die. Or, I guess I'm gonna kill them, I don't know. Eventually, I'm not gonna worry too much about them. I'm gonna focus more on the barrels, which murdered me. Oh, do I have to kill this last bat? Serious? Come get me. Oh my god, this is so annoying! Why would they design this? If, if truly I do have to kill this bat to move on. This is like poor game design. Now is that enough? Oh no, okay, what do I have to do here? The mystery that needs a solving. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, what? Okay, my fist is glowing. What does that mean? Okay, something needs to happen with this. Gotta find something that will go on top of that, maybe? Wait, can I punch the barrels? Oh, here's an idea. What if I punch a barrel on top of it? Oh god, ow, ow. Look at that. Ooh, like that. Like that. 
Oh god. I'm trying to like get behind the barrel. So I can like kick it out like that, you see? Harder than it seems. Oh my god, I keep landing on the damn things. Oh my god, you can't even walk into it from behind, it hits you? This is impossible. If this is what you're supposed to do. Oh, come on. Oh, somehow that worked. If that's, if that's the correct way that you're supposed to do that, that's brutal, man. I must have been doing it wrong. There's absolutely no way. That's so hard. Oh, God. All right, I'm literally almost dead. Oh, look, a hamburger. Oh, look, another one. Okay, there. They recognize that part as unfair and brutal. <laughs> That flying guy, he's gonna be the bane of my existence, isn't he? Now let's go. Let's dance, dogs. Let's diggity dance. Boom, boom. Oh, God. Down you go. Oh, I dodged that. Come on. Now, uh, everybody. Get out of here. Where's that air guy? Oh, come on! <laughs> I think you can, uh, like, knock the air guy's bombs back at him. You hit him in slow mo. What I'm trying to do. I want to. Experiment with this. Okay, let's do this. Boo! Oh, you bastard. I, I will say I think the air enemies in this are like the most annoying enemies in the game. Psst. Will not. They still. Can you get down here already? There we go. Jesus. Yeah, air enemies suck. I hate them. I maybe I just don't know how to fight them properly, but they're Joe, it's time definitely uh, try. you know, annoying. Not, here I come. All right, now we gotta fight pot-bellied Captain Blue. Ow! You dick! Don't kill me! Only have one hit left. Ah! Come on, buddy. Oh, uh, did you kill me? Okay, we gotta recharge our. Oh god. Ow! I thought his charge attack would be done. It has a long, uh, a long delay. If we die to Captain Blue, that's like so sad. The guy who's supposed to be training us literally murdered us. Come on, hit him. Whoa. Those ones, um, oh, God. Oh, come on, that stupid air guy's right there. Oh, that bastard. Where is he? Got a punch in on him. Like, how do you get him to come down? Oh, you mother effer. I guess I'll just stand here and wait for bombs to drop on me. There he is. Come on. Get down here, you bastard. Jeez. Yeah, the air guys, I'm not a fan of that. Air enemies in an attack or in a game where you uh, can't shoot. You know, like, give me air enemies in Contra. But don't give me air enemies in Street Fighter. That just sucks. All right, let's see if we can actually beat this guy. Oh. 
Help. Keep hitting them. Oh, we got so many good attacks in there. We almost killed him, and all we needed to do was dodge one of his attacks. Oh, come on. Come on, man. I'm waiting for you. Waiting for ya. Ah. Yes, get him! Oh, he's almost dead. Yes, kick him in the face, Joe! Yeah! I think I just barely ran out of, uh, slow speed energy. Mock speed, another VFX power. Joe grilled every poor soul that stood in his way. Oh, there's a- now there's something. Yeah, give that ro oh my god, look at him go. Okay, so you can slow speed down- this is actually a pretty cool mechanics here. You can slow time down, or you can speed it up. Look at that, that's so cool. Huh, that's fun. Oh, do I actually have to de destroy this, uh, barrel? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we still did destroy it, though. Okay, I don't know what we're supposed to do to get out of here. It's clearly that barrel. There was a hamburger back over this way. Which we'll take. Yeah, that barrel does look like we can destroy it. This thing takes a hell of a lot of hits, though, I'll tell you that. Okay, what are we missing? Where do we have to go? <laughs> um, hello? Joe? Captain Blue? Mr. Blue Pants, sir? How do I get out of this stupid room? Okay, seriously, did- did I miss instructions for how to destroy this thing? You have to do it in slow-mo? Okay, I'm s so literally confused. Like, I... Gotta look it up. Okay, from what I am literally watching right now, I have a long play that's going on right beside me. You just have to keep beating- oh my god, beating that up. Okay, you have to uppercut this thing. And then I think you just gotta run through in slow motion or something. I don't know. I don't even know if I did that right. Okay, frankly, that part of the game is straight up stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying. You can love Beautiful Joe, but that part of the game is poorly designed! All of a sudden you need an uppercut when your new ability is this speed punch thing. What? No. No, that was just badly, badly thought through, folks. At least have it so that you have to defeat Captain Whatever with uppercuts. That would make sense, and then you could uppercut the barrel. Why? Why would you give yourself a speed attack? and then require something other than the newly gotten speed attack to get out of the obstacle that you've never seen before, right? Like, logic dictates if there's a weird obstacle and you just got a new power, you should use that power to get past the obstacle. Right? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm- <laughs> It's just really annoying. <laughs> it's like, interesting because like, this game seems so well thought out, so well designed. Why would they make such a bad game design decision? Like, it's a legit, objectively bad decision. Oh god. So we gotta run fast. Oh, look at this! You can, like, outrun it. Oh, run! Run, Joe! See, like, that makes sense! There's a barrel coming towards you. You can't run fast enough. But your new ability lets you fast-forward time. Right? Like... So, use it. Totally makes sense. 
Um, probably just boomerang those guys. Sweet. Yes, okay, I really do like the fast forward power. It makes life a lot more fun to beat up these guys. Oh, that's so cool. I got a bunch of V's. Bunch of beautifuls. And beautifuls. Oh, here we go. Now we're definitely gonna have to fast forward time. See, this part totally makes sense. Uh, I guess I, I do want to get some of these burgers, though. Other than that, I would just sort of run. A for awesome! I always get A's in my video game classes, folks. Now, the question is... Oh, you can light those up by your intense uh, powers. Oh, that's cool. See, again, that mechanic makes sense. The barrel, uppercutting the barrel makes absolutely no sense. Unless maybe uh, Big Fat Blue Boy taught me an uppercut move and I just totally skipped it by accident. Uh, maybe it's my own fault. Maybe it's clearly my own fault. Um, alright. So I guess these are like the restockables, but these are like the permanent effects. So you want to save up for the permanent effects, I'm guessing. <laughs> but, uh, we don't have enough money for anything cool. Um, anyway, this video is getting a little long, so I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Let's just see how the next level starts off. I mean, we do have this fast forwarding power, so I wouldn't mind just getting a little more, a few more punches in. You know, because it is kind of fun to, oh, I missed a whole bunch of beautiful tins over there, oh well. I wonder if this is gonna be a boss or something. Oh, it looks like it. You know, I'll take a boss fight. Oh, not if it's a thousand bats, though. Not if it's a thousand bats. They merge into like Dracula, I'll fight that. The Dark Fiend. Charles the Third. Okay, Charles the Third. I will take you out. Is he supposed to be like a vampire or what? He's wearing like a, a collar thingy. Like a, a frilly pirate collar. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Let's go, Joe. Pick some vampire. Let's get it on. This is the adult version, guys. We have... We don't want to forget that. Okay. Boom! Oh, you punch him and he turns into a thousand bats. Oh, and then you have to kill the bats. Oh, good. <laughs> a flying enemy. Boom. It's gonna take forever. Okay. Well, I'm disappointed we don't get to use the super punches. Yeah, we got two. Three! So worth it. Boom. Oh, we got like four in that one kick. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, here we go! Yeah, baby! That was satisfying. That was super satisfying. Okay, he's getting very low on health. He's low on internal bats. There we go. I've turned back into bro dude form. I like how when uh, Beautiful Joe gets weak, he turns into like a, a 2000s era bro dude. Come on. Oh, he hit me. Oh no, I'm, I'm literally about to die. But so is he. Finish up, Joe. One more bat. One more bat. Oh no, we can't get it. Oh my God. Oh, I somehow dodged that. Didn't, oh no, you bat bastard. You bat bastard. I thought I was doing amazing. I thought he hadn't even hit me once.
There he is wrecking me. Taking me to Pound Town. Population J. Um, I didn't necessarily want to buy anything. The Joe must go on. Now let's give that boss one more fight. One more, one more good fight. See if we can take him. Damn. We were so... We were literally one bat away. One tiny little bat away. I wish you could use your fast forward punches on them. Hello. Feel like waking up Beetlejuice. Let's do it, buddy. Just go for it. Oh, there you go. So you want to try and get like as many bats as possible. Uh, I mean, obviously. Those without saying. Oh, yeah. There we go. Like, oh, come on. Oh. Avoid that. Yes. Nope. Get something. Punch something. <laughs> I got one bat there. All right. Oh, I knew I had to dodge that, and I just did it poorly. Okay, we got a few. Get this one too, yes! Oh, you can punch those uh, staglamites or whatever that he knocks on the ground. Okay, where are you, buddy? More bats! Ugh. Hit him again! Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Punch him. Okay. Oh, he's flying up. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Go crazy punching him. Oh, he killed me! <laughs> Again, I didn't even realize. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, did we just get another chance to fight him? Oh, come on, buddy. There you go. Punch a bat. Okay. Boom. Hit him! Oh god, and he hit me somehow. You son of a beach. There you go. Yeah, okay, that's what you gotta do. Okay, maybe punching him into bats is like not the most effective way to actually kill him. I feel like the staglomite thing was better. Like do this. And then just beat the shit out of him at high speed. All right, so the bad thing was actually a bad way to try to fight him, as it turns out. It was a much smarter, ow, much smarter way. Come on, buddy. Wait, did he just kill himself? <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> well played, you idiot. <laughs> he tried to kill the staglomites and he killed himself. I will take it. A win is still a win, no matter how cheap. Here's my overall performance on the level. Ah, za, za, ba, 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 sa. All right, I guess we will save, even though we're wrapping up this video here today. Beautiful Joe, here's one of the games in the book, a thousand one video games you must play before you die. I think despite the fact that I have a few criticisms of it, 
it is an incredibly unique and incredibly inspired and incredibly well made designed uh, handled game. The mechanics are fun. The levels are well designed. The enemies are cool. The moves are cool. Um, yeah, I think it. I think it is. Uh, I think it is a solid, solid game. Oh, we're just gonna hop into play here. Um, it has. It's just really cool and really fun and really stylized. And I can't. Say, I can't think of too many other games like it. I think if you are a fan of sort of Smash Brothers, or even if you're not, you probably will like the gameplay mechanics here. My, the only like big complaint we encountered throughout the game is like sort of poor game design on that level where you had to uppercut the barrel. And then I guess you had to run underneath it in bullet time. But I mean, God, get, show me the uppercut. Make the uppercut necessary for something, you know? Like, it, it's odd because the game, you know, like literally the very first enemy you encounter, it pauses and it gives you a tutorial on how to dodge. And it's like, why would you then not do the same thing for like a required move like it, it was just sort of like a weird moment um and truthfully like had i not been able to look that up on youtube like if this was back in the day of uh you know oh my god the moves look so cool when you actually like just watch someone play this game but if this had been back in the day pre-youtube i don't know if i would have necessarily figured out how to get past that part you know like honestly I would have just been stuck, and it's weird to be stuck in a modern game that is smart enough to have tutorials and stuff, so. That's my thought on it. Um, it doesn't overall destroy my enjoyment of the game. I think you should probably play it if you're looking at this and it looks even semi-interesting. Um, well, now, once again, I've kind of hit a point where I don't know what to do. Like, seriously. Okay, well, you know what, whatever. I'm not gonna look up another YouTube thing. Maybe this is another example of poor level design where it's like yet another moment where it's like, what the F do I do here? But uh, it's not our problem. Guys, what do you think of Beautiful Joe here? Is it a game that looks awesome? Is it a game you've played before? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have played it, what are some awesome moments that are still yet to come? We would love to know. And as always, guys, uh, I hope you did have some fun here today. If you did, don't forget to like the video. Another than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friend, you all take care of yourselves. <sighs> and peace.